أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ميم The Roman Empire has been defeated in a land close by but they, even after this defeat of theirs, will soon be victorious. Within a few years, with Allah is the decision in the past and in the future, on that day shall the believers rejoice. With the help of Allah, He helps whom He will, and He is exalted in might, most merciful. It is the promise of Allah, never does Allah depart from His promise, but most men understand not. They know but the outer things in the life of this world, but of the end of things they are heedless. Do they not reflect in their own minds, not but for just ends, and for a term appointed? Did Allah create the heavens and the earth? and all between them, yet are there truly many among men who deny their meeting with their Lord at the resurrection. Do they not travel through the earth and see what was the end of those before them? They were superior to them in strength. They tilled the soil and populated it in greater numbers than these have done. There came to them their messengers with clear signs, which they rejected to their own destruction. It was not Allah who wronged them, but they wronged their own souls. In the long run, evil in the extreme will be the end of those who do evil, for that they rejected the signs of Allah and held them up to ridicule. It is Allah who begins the process of creation, then repeats it, then shall you be brought back to him. On the day that the hour will be established, the guilty will be struck dumb with despair. No intercessor will they have among their partners, and they will themselves reject their partners. On the day that the hour will be established, that day shall all men be sorted out. Then those who have believed and worked righteous deeds shall be made happy in a mead of delight. And those who have rejected faith and falsely denied our signs and the meeting of the hereafter, such shall be brought forth to punishment. So, give glory to Allah when you reach eventide and even when you rise in the morning. Yea, to him be praise in the heavens and on earth, and in the late afternoon and when the day begins to decline. It is he who brings out the living from the dead, and brings out the dead from the living, and who gives life to the earth after it is dead, and thus shall you be brought out from the dead. Among his signs is this, that he created you from dust, and then behold, you are human beings scattered far and wide. And among his signs is this, that he created for you mates from among yourselves, that you may dwell in tranquility with them. And he has put love and mercy between your hearts. Verily in that are signs for those who reflect. And among his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the variations, in your languages and your colors. Verily in that are signs for those who know. And among his signs is the sleep that you take by night and by day, and the quest that you make for livelihood out of his bounty. Verily, in that are signs for those who hearken. And among his signs he shows you the lightning, by way both of fear and of hope. And he sends down rain from the sky, and with it gives life to the earth after it is dead. Verily, in that are signs for those who are wise. And among his signs is this, that heaven and earth stand by his command. Then when he calls you, by a single call from the earth, behold, you straightway come forth. To him belongs every being that is in the heavens and on earth. All are devoutly obedient to him. It is he who begins the process of creation, then repeats it. And for him it is most easy. To him belongs the loftiest similitude we can think of, in the heavens and the earth, for he is exalted in might, full of wisdom. He does propound to you a similitude from your own experience. Do you have partners among those whom your right hands possess, to share as equals in the wealth we have bestowed on you? Do you fear them as you fear each other? Thus do we explain the signs in detail to a people that understand.
Nay, the wrongdoers merely follow their own lusts, being devoid of knowledge, but who will guide those whom Allah leaves astray? To them there will be no helpers. So set you your face steadily and truly to the faith. Establish Allah's handiwork according to the pattern on which he has made mankind. No change let there be in the work wrought by Allah. That is the standard religion. But most among mankind understand not. Turn you back in repentance to him and fear him. Establish regular prayers and be not you among those who join gods with Allah. Those who split up their religion and become mere sects each party rejoicing in that which is with itself. When trouble touches men, they cry to their Lord, turning back to him in repentance. But when he gives them a taste of mercy as from himself, behold, some of them pay part worship to other gods besides their Lord. As if to show their ingratitude for the favors we have bestowed on them, then enjoy your brief day, but soon will you know your folly. Or have we sent down authority to them, which points out to them the things to which they pay part worship? When we give men a taste of mercy, they exult thereat, and when some evil afflicts them because of what their own hands have sent forth, behold, they are in despair. See they not that Allah enlarges the provision and restricts it to whomsoever he pleases? Verily, in that are signs for those who believe. So give what is due to kindred, the needy, and the wayfarer. That is best for those who seek the countenance of Allah, and it is they who will prosper. That which you lay out for increase through the property of other people will have no increase with Allah. But that which you lay out for charity, seeking the countenance of Allah, will increase. It is these who will get a recompense multiplied. It is Allah who has created you. Further, he has provided for your sustenance. Then he will cause you to die. And again he will give you life. Are there any of your false partners who can do any single one of these things? Glory to him. And high is he above the partners they attribute to him. Mischief has appeared on land and sea because of the mead that the hands of men have earned that Allah may give them a taste of some of their deeds, in order that they may turn back from evil. Say, travel through the earth and see what was the end of those before you. Most of them worshipped others besides Allah. But set you your face to the right religion, before there comes from Allah the day which there is no chance of averting. On that day shall men be divided in two. Those who reject faith will suffer from that rejection, and those who work righteousness will spread their couch of repose for themselves in heaven. That he may reward those who believe and work righteous deeds out of his bounty, for he loves not those who reject faith. Among his signs is this, that he sends the winds as heralds of glad tidings, giving you a taste of his grace and mercy that the ships may sail majestically by his command, and that you may seek of his bounty, in order that you may be grateful. We did indeed send before you messengers to their respective peoples, and they came to them with clear signs. Then, to those who transgressed, we meted out retribution, and it was due from us to aid those who believed. It is Allah who sends the winds, and they raise the clouds. Then does he spread them in the sky as he wills, and break them into fragments, until you see raindrops issue from the midst thereof. Then, when he has made them reach such of his servants as he wills, behold, they do rejoice. Even though before they received the rain, just before this, they were dumb with despair. Then, contemplate, O man, the memorials of Allah's mercy how he gives life to the earth after its death. Verily, the same will give life to the men who are dead, for he has power over all things. And if we but send a wind from which they see their tilth turn yellow, behold, they become thereafter ungrateful unbelievers. So verily, you cannot make the dead to hear, 
nor can you make the deaf to hear the call when they show their backs and turn away. Nor can you lead back the blind from their straying. Only those will you make to hear who believe in our signs and submit their wills in Islam. It is Allah who created you in a state of helpless weakness, then gave you strength after weakness, then after strength gave you weakness and a hoary head. He creates as he wills, and it is he who has all knowledge and power. On the day that the hour of reckoning will be established, the transgressors will swear that they tarried not but an hour. Thus were they used to being deluded. But those endued with knowledge and faith will say, Indeed, you did tarry within Allah's decree to the day of resurrection, and this is the day of resurrection. But you were not aware. So on that day no excuse of theirs will avail the transgressors, nor will they be invited then to seek grace by repentance. Verily, we have propounded for men in this Qur'an every kind of parable, but if you bring to them any sign, the unbelievers are sure to say, you do nothing but talk vanities. Thus does Allah seal up the hearts of those who understand not. So patiently persevere, for verily the promise of Allah is true, nor let those shake your firmness who have themselves no certainty of faith.